everyone, it's Jack here again today, and uh, we've had a, we've got a special video for you today, and it's another product research video about Jungle Scout and why I think it is the best research uh, tool that you can use once when searching for products on Amazon, and um, why you know you might be stuck when you're looking for a product on Amazon, and how Jungle Scout can definitely help you in finding those profitable products. So. Where this question came from, or where this video idea basically came from, is I put out a poll on my Facebook group page. It's called Aussie Amazon Entrepreneurs. If you're not sure what that is, I'll link it down below. It's a free Facebook page, and it's free to join. Um, and basically, it's a place where you can ask all your questions that you need to. Either myself or the other members in there will answer it. And it's just to, so we can help each other when it comes to things like this, like product research, or getting your shipment into Amazon, or contacting suppliers, or anything that you need. So. If you are interested in um, in a group like that, click the link down below. It'll be one of the links down below that, that I'll leave for you is down there. Um, but yeah, join that one and you can ask away. But basically, this video idea came from a poll that I put out in the group saying, um, you know, just asking how everyone was going with their product research. And um, I just basically asked three questions and I said, hey, are you guys, you know, looking for a product? Are you guys, um, have you got your first product? Or, you know, you have you got your product in? Or... Um, you know, have, have you actually already started selling before? And about 80% of the of the people in that group said that they were still searching. And I get a lot of questions daily now about um, product research and just, you know, sort of uncertainty about what product, you know, the product that they're selling, if it's going to be profitable, if it's even worth going for. Or, you know, they're just scared that they're going to waste money and they're sort of just um, a bit hesitant to make that step forward. So I'm going to show you guys what I use when it comes to product research and how I have more of certainty about um, the product that I'm going for and, you know, when it comes to the numbers checking out and just more certainty, you know, in that product that I'm going to make, you know, decent amount of money on it and that the numbers will actually check out properly. So I'll show you guys two things. Now, this is both by Jungle Scout. And um, I'll show you guys why I think it's beneficial to go for both of these. And um, if not both, then one, which I'll show you guys later. But I'll show you guys both, and I'll show you guys basically what's going on. And um, these are f this is for all the Aussies out there, because I know, um, because all in that group there's a lot of Aussies in there, so I'm going to basically vacate to those guys. But if you're not living in Australia, this will be helpful f for you as well. So we'll get straight into it now. Jungle Scout is basically a software that has two different parts. There's one called the web app, which I'll show you first, and the second one's called the Chrome extension, um, which is also very helpful in product research. So I'm going to show you guys the web app first. I'll show you guys how it works and um, you know why you should definitely look into using it um, when it comes to product research. So basically with this software, is the basically the web app is you can search for certain criteria in Amazon so in this case, we're looking at the United States. Now, I can't wait for the, for the moment that they release this for Australia because that is going to open up a whole new avenue for product research in Australia. But for now, we're selling in the US marketplace because you can pull all the data from there. So let's just say we're selling from the US. Um, I don't have much info on selling on these other marketplaces, although it does work very, very similar. We're going to stick with the US because that's what I know best. So... Basically what you can do is you can choose your categories and you can follow along with me with this and I'll show you guys basically how I sort of look for uh, for my numbers when it comes to going through Jungle Scout. So basically what you can do here is you can choose your categories and you can choose your filters. Now I'm going to basically do something very, very uh, simple and um, choose a simple amount of categories and the numbers and I'll show you guys why. So when we come through here, basically what you can do is this looks this looks through all the numbers and all the categories that you choose through Amazon. It pulls all the data and it'll basically give you your full results down here that you can look through for the criteria that you've chosen. So, I'll go through the uh, categories that I think are personally pretty good. You can choose more than this. You have to be careful because some categories are restricted and you need to actually get in contact with Amazon to get unrestricted in that in that category. But I'll show you guys the ones that are unrestricted off the bat so you don't have to worry about that. Now, first one is baby. Second one's beauty and personal care. Uh, another one that I'd sort of look for, health and household, home and kitchen, home improvement. We won't do too many, uh, kitchen and dining. Um, maybe office products as well. Wouldn't worry about software. Sports and outdoors can sometimes be competitive. Maybe tools and home improvement. We'll look at that as well. We don't want too many results to come up, and I'll tell you guys why in a second. So we'll leave that for the categories. So if you want to follow along with this, um, if you've got it yourself, um, if not, I'll leave the link down below for this stuff so you can have a look as well, and then you can follow along. I'll show you guys the pricing in a second as well. So filters. So minimum price. 
So you don't want anything under twelve dollars. So we'll just say twelve nine seven to max price. We could do something like we don't want too many results to come up. So we could do something like uh, sixteen eighty nine. And the reason that you do um, that you do not you know twelve ninety nine to sixteen ninety nine is because if you do different numbers, it's going to bring up different results. And if everyone if you're following along with what everyone else is doing and you do the exact same numbers as everyone else is doing, you're gonna come up with the same results as everyone else, and you're gonna find the same products, and you know, there's just gonna to be too much competition. You know, you wanna actually differentiate yourselves and find the products that other people aren't finding. So that's why I do different, um, different numbers to what a lot of other people do. Now, maximum reviews, a lot of people say 50 for maximum reviews. I like to say about 300 for maximum reviews because you still can rank your product you know, if there's a couple of sellers or a few sellers out there that have around 300 reviews, you can still get your product out there. If there's enough demand, you can still rank it with those guys, and you'll still get sales. It's really, it's it's not um, it's not really viable to have a look for products that are you know 50 reviews or under that you're gonna you know miraculously make you know 20,000 to 30,000 per month on because the demand's not going to be there. It's very unrealistic, and it's a, it's very hard to find products like that out there. So there's a bit more leeway when it comes to 300 max reviews and um, the competition is still going to be there but you can still rank for that too. Now, minimum sales, maximum sales, uh, we won't worry about that. Maximum weight, the only one I'm going to worry about here is maximum weight. Uh, we could do 2.0 and this is in pounds. So we could do 2 pounds. Um, we might even do 1.5 just to make sure that it's um, most likely small and light so it's easier to ship and um, more easy I guess to source and it's cheaper to source and ship um, so that's why we do the lighter the lighter weight for that now max sales we won't worry too much about that or we'll do minimum sales minimum is 300 so that's 300 units per month because um, just say if you're looking at a profit margin of um, you know eight to twelve dollars per unit 300 sales per month you're looking at around three thousand dollars in profit per month which is the, a good starting point if you're looking to get away from your nine to five job and um, start that real passive income. 300 units per month with a good profit margin is sort of where you're looking at for that. Now, max revenue as well. You could do minimum revenue. Um, so you could say something around 8996 like that. And then you could do maximum because revenue is obviously not your profit. So if you're looking at a product that's around 9,000 revenue and it's got about you know four let's say 40 percent profit which is pretty general 40 percent profit so you're looking at what two three K you know profit depend depends on what the product is so we'll do a minimum of that and then we can do a maximum of let's just say the mm, let's just say we could even do 15 we can always change these numbers 15 eight nine seven like that so there we go so that's pretty much it and you also want to do standard size because you don't want oversized products unless the profit margin is there you don't want oversized products because it's going to be too much to ship from your Chinese supplier to to your Amazon warehouse the sellers um, you just leave this one for now and that's pretty much it I don't worry too much about the keywords or excluding keywords and you hit search we'll see how many so we're looking at the total results this is the first thing you want to look at 2000 that's actually really really good um, I wouldn't have too many more than 2,000 because I'll show you why. So basically, when you scroll down the products here, you've got 82 pages worth. You know, you're not really going to look through 82 pages at a time because your brain is going to be absolutely fried. So if you can make it even lower, I'd say even under a thousand um, results, you can look through that easily. You know, without having, you know, without going, without having too much going on in your brain and having your brain fry by looking at so many products. So that's what I that's what I think about that anyway. Um, you can do more, you know, go ahead, but this is the best way for me to do it. Um, so basically, you know, when these results come up, I'll show you guys basically my thought process of when I look through, uh, when I look for uh, results through here. So we don't really worry about stuff like this, you know, essential oils, anything that's like an oil or a digestible or a tablet, you have to be very careful for because that's sort of um, where there's sort of like your restricted categories and um, you have to be careful because, put it this way, if you're getting a product in from China into the US, it has to go through customs and then you have to, you know, you have to sort of get clearance for it. So if it's a digestible or if it's an oil or if it's a powder 
obviously people at customers are going to look at that and you're more than likely going to have uh, a bit of a hard time getting it into the US borders you know from from China if it's something like that because they're always going to be you know a bit more uh, I guess uh, resilient of um, getting it in you know into their borders if it's coming from China you know a product like that so you just have to be careful um, some of these products can be good to go for but you just have to be careful like I said so this basically shows um, one other thing I forgot to say this basically shows the products that basically um, that basically show up with, with the parameters that you've given so parameters that I've given up here um, they're not up here now but let's just say so just to give you an instance so it's under 300 reviews uh, where are we here the revenue so it's within our revenue as well um, it's under it's under two pounds and um, the prices within our price range as well so that's how it pulls all the data and it basically gives you you know all the products that are selling under those parameters that sorry that you've given so we'll go through here and see what uh, what else we've got ones that I sort of would like the look of uh, something that's light and cheap to source so bamboo kitchen death uh, dish cloth so that could be a good one to go for the other thing as well which I need you guys to know is if you were to look at the numbers on here now these numbers don't update as much as what you will get in the um, in the Chrome extension which um, my mouse is hovering over right now which is why um, I'm going to run you guys through the Chrome extension as well but the Chrome extension updates more often way more often than what the um, than what the web app does this is just basically to start getting a good idea of where to look for for your products and um, a good idea of you know what numbers to look for but the uh, the Chrome extension is if you were to you know buy one you know the web app or the Chrome extension go for the Chrome extension and I'll show you guys the payment uh, basically how much it costs for both of them in a second but the Chrome extension is definitely um, better for the long term than the Jungle Scout is because Jungle Scout comes by a monthly or oh, sorry the um, the product tracker the web app comes by a monthly payment and the um, Chrome extension is a one-time payment so it's definitely you know they're both good but if you were to choose one it still go the Chrome extension but as you can see here it brings up a lot of valuable info especially for those people who have only just started doing product research so you know feel free to um, to use these parameters that I've given you just to give you a bit of a starting point and what I would sort of look for here are products that um, that are light so like 12 boutique medium metallic gold gift bags they'd be super super light to source and they'd be they'd be cheap to make you can easily private label something like that and let's just say so these guys here their revenue is you know almost 10,000 per month obviously you'd have to check it I'll give you guys I'll give you guys an instance of this of how I'd actually check this so let's just say you wanted to check this item out and see if you could go for something like this so we're gonna have a look at something like this so just to check the real numbers on it so 12 gift po uh, boutique uh, medium metallic gold gift bags polka dots so just to double check on this so you click you, you basically click on the link there this brings you to the actual selling page on Amazon so it's an Amazon's choice which is really really good uh, so this basically this is another this is another app that I use called uh, keeper and that tells you basically the selling price and how long they've been selling for so they've been up for 424 days you can see the seller rank so the lower seller rank you are the better but the one thing that I wanted to show you guys is the Chrome extension. So basically what the Chrome extension does is it pulls up any data from the Amazon page that you're on and it'll just basically pull that and show you guys all the more recently updated um, facts of it. So by the looks of it, this one is actually pretty accurate. So it's very similar to the web app. Uh, the rank is 12,000, which isn't too bad. The price uh, point seems really, really good. Only 67 reviews, but it's getting 617 sales per month and uh, it's almost making 10,000 revenue per month so you could easily just see um, how much so if this was a 12 pack you could easily see you know you could probably you could probably get um, a 12 pack of this for maybe a few dollars each from Alibaba and then you could get that in and sell it you know for 15.95 make a make a nice bit of profit there but you'd obviously have to go into more research and see how much demand there is and things like that but this is just to show showcase what the web app is and basically the power of it you know of basically it you know with things like jungle scout if you can see 
you know how much people are actually making that gives you a huge huge advantage when it comes to selling on Amazon because you've got all pretty much all the data there that you need um, and you've got that certainty there when it comes to selling on Amazon so that's basically the web app there and this I'm gonna convert this um, for the Aussie I'm gonna convert this um, now to to AUD currency just to show you guys what it is per month so this is the good thing about this is it says here build annually you can do per month so you can do per month or build annually now twenty nine dollars per month you only need the startup one don't worry about the standard you're never going to track eighty products um, I never worry about that so twenty nine per month twenty nine in um, AUD thirty eight fifty five so what I do is I pay for the month do my product research in that month and then I just cancel my subscription until I have my next product there then you can just do the one month again you know you don't have to pay it for it month by month you can cancel it um, after you do your first payment so you've got that month there we'll cancel at the end of the month and then um, you know you're good from there if you've already found your product I only pay for the uh, the web app for the months that I do my product research in, and that's what a lot of other sellers do as well it's just just saves you money in the long run basically so yeah, 29 per month comes out to 38.55 per month, and um, yeah, that's that's pretty much what the the web app is. I'm gonna leave the link for this and the um, Chrome extension down below. So like I said, just pay for the month and um, do all your product research from there. Um, I can do more videos on product research if you guys are interested in you uh, you know when you're using Jungle Scout, but it's definitely definitely a viable option when you're doing product research. The next one I want to show you guys, and I'm going to use a little product research technique as well um, alongside this. So next one's a Chrome extension, which I showed you guys a bit of just before. But I'm just going to go to Amazon New Release Bestsellers. Oops. New Release, if I knew how to spell. I think I spelled that right. So... Amazon.com new releases, the best selling and new and future releases. I always do this now for product research. Head to any department, and this is what we're going to do. So let's just say we go to the baby department. Babies are very, very, um, very profitable, or sorry, very um, high demand niche. So I saw these, I've been seeing these around lately. So let's just see. So this is for your baby. Uh, changing uh, changing pad so the changing pad covers so you could just say so let's just say because if we go back to the last page this is number three in the whole baby department this is number three on the new release bestsellers list so it hasn't but by the looks of it this is a new release product obviously it hasn't been out for too long or hasn't been out long compared to the other products that are in the baby niche it's number three it's going to be selling very very highly and this is what I do just to basically check if it's a good product if, if it's um, you know a good one to go for you get the main keywords out of this product so stretchy changing pad covers basically the main keywords for that would be changing pad covers and you want to copy that make sure you're in all departments and then you hit uh, whoops and you hit put that those keywords in changing pad covers you hit search so on the outside you know it doesn't look like too bad of a product there's a few people obviously you've got a lot of um, so there's one with 8,000 views there so on the outside it looks like there's a bit of demand for it uh, there's some sellers that have already jumped on this but to be sure you know what can you do and basically what you can do is you can go to the Jungle Scout Chrome extension click on that and it's going to pull this whole data from this page and it's going to basically tell you guys you know what it's all about and what all the numbers check out with so whoops pull this over so something like this Personally, I wouldn't go for the demand is way too high, but you should still be able to make sales out of it because there's high demand. You know, the worst thing to do is to go for a product with low competition but low demand because you're not going to get the sale. You're not, not going to get enough sales, even though this has a three there for the opportunity score. It basically tells you the obviously um, it tells you the average monthly sales, the average sales rank, the average sales price, and the average reviews. Even though it has a three out of there, I probably rank this more of like a four or a five, um, just because there is high competition there. And you know, as you can see here, there's a few guys with you know like there's one with almost nine thousand reviews. There's a couple with three, five hundred reviews as well. Um, but the numbers here, there's still a lot of room to to sort of get your product in there by the looks of it. You know, there's a few here, so let's see. 
This has only got 32 reviews on it, and um, it's making six and a half thousand revenue per month, and it's at a price point of 20. You could probably source these for about four or five dollars as well on Alibaba, and um, that could be with your private label as well. Get your product out there. You know, you could basically read um, a few bad reviews on here, see why they're bad, see why the product's bad. Talk to your supplier and say, hey, can we work on this? You know, let's say a customer said that. Um, that the edges of the of the pad covers were were really hard and you know they could scratch your skin or something like that and they didn't like that and that's why why they gave it a three star review instead of a five star review. You know you could go to your supplier and say, hey, can we make sure that the um, that the borders of this change cover are soft? And you know your supplier could say, yep, cool. You know we already do this, so you could talk to a different supplier and they could do it for you. And there we go. You've basically fixed that problem, and um, you know you're going to get a good review, and you could even put that in your listing as well. Say that it's got soft, you know, soft borders on it to basically, you know, to save any safety hazards for for your kid. But you know, that's just that's just one instance of um, what the Jungle Scout web app is. So I'll pull up those numbers again, and it is, you know, the um, sorry, I'm in the Chrome extension. The Chrome extension is literally the best investment I have ever ever. Had. I've bought, I bought the Chrome extension over a year ago now, and I'm still using it to this day. It's a one-time payment, and I'll show you guys how much it is right now. So if we go to Jungle Scout, we go to the Chrome extension. Now, I have the more expensive version, but there is a cheaper version of this. So there's two different versions. So there's the light, and these are both one-time fees. So there's a light, which that gives you the monthly sales. And revenue, industry leading, accuracy, rating and review tracking category, ongoing support and updates. So you always get updates for it anyway if they update the software. I have the pro version. Main reason being because of the opportunity score. That helps me out a lot. But it has your fee estimator. So it shows you how much um, the fees are for selling that product on Amazon. Even the dimension and the weight. Sales item profit calculator. So it even calculates your profit. To me, you know, spending an extra $100 is just worth it because it's a one-time fee and you've got so much more opportunity and so much more uh, so much more info when it comes to researching your products. So let's just say, um, we'll, we'll calculate this in Australia. So $97, got 128 bucks US and the Pro, $197, uh, so 261 um, Australian dollars. So I just basically save up the $260, get the Pro version you know you won't you won't regret it in my opinion so definitely check them out but that's pretty much it I just wanted to showcase what Jungle Scout was all about um, if you guys haven't got it yet if you guys are still trying to do product research without a tool like this you're sort of missing out and um, you're gonna take a very very long time it's gonna be very hard for you to pull the data um, from these sales pages and sort of see if anything is selling so what I'm gonna do for you guys I'm gonna leave the link down but for both of these in the description down below and you guys can check that out. You know, if you guys decide to go for it, it's definitely going to be worthwhile, in my opinion. Um, but if you have any other questions about it, definitely feel free to comment down below or hit me up on the Facebook group. I'll link that down below as well, or um, on my socials. I always leave my social links down below. I had a lot of people messaging me through um, Instagram and through Facebook. So that's pretty much it. That's all I want to talk about um, for you guys today. Is it's basically why I think Jungle Scout is one of the best. Um, products out there when it comes to product research, especially for the US market. And um, I can't wait until they branch out to the Australian market as well, because it's going to be um, very good for us, us Aussies wanting to sell in the Australian marketplace. Uh, that's all I have for you today. Um, hope you guys are having a great day, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one.